All right, a good evening to all of you beautiful people. It seems that our video has expired. That was a voice crack! Hey, what's up everyone? Humps underscore 21 here, and welcome back to another episode of... Server Survival. It is episode, I believe it is episode 14. And as you can see, I am on the... I mean, I'm obviously on the server, but I'm at the Titan right now, and I'm here because this is where the spawn is of the world, obviously, and I have a friend that I is coming on the server, or should be, theoretically, um, or actually, no, well, I mean, he's already on, but I am assuming that he's still over here at the spawn chunks, unless he already came on the other day and I didn't see him. So to start off today, I'm not actually going to be doing any crafting here, although we have a very satisfying amount of iron that has come into the system. Um, what I actually plan on doing first, uh, well, I'm gonna, in the end, I'm going to be making our mob farm today. But what I'm gonna start off with is actually going over and doing a massive enchanting session. Aha. Whoo! I do love seeing that, but these endermen are kind of a little bit slow, and it almost worries me. So I'm gonna go ahead and, first of all, what do I want to do? Um, so I need to craft... I'm gonna need to craft a new pair of boots, and a new sword, and that's it. I'm gonna be putting mending on this, and I think that's all. So let's see what's it gonna cost to put mending on this. Probably a ridiculous amount of money, because I think I've already... Oh, no, really, that's all? Okay, so fortune 3, efficiency 4, I mean efficiency 5, unbreaking 3, curse of vanishing and mending... Yep, I could do that. Um, that's what I'm naming it. I'm naming it Don't Try Your Luck, as in don't try your luck with this pickaxe on you like your luck of not dying. That is what I mean by that. Alright, so we've got Mending on our uh, Fortune 3 now. That is quite fa That's quite fun. So, um, my boots. I'm definitely going to probably start with... I think I'm going to start with Thorns, because why am I lagging? Uh, thorns is the most expensive enchantment to put on any armor. Wait, did I not bring- oh, I have my thorns is in here, I think? Uh, right? Okay, yeah, this is my enchantments for- uh, Oh, I'm salty now. Alright, uh, salty as a saltine cracker. I've got thorns, embarking three, protection three, depth strider three, protection three again, mending, feather falling four, and another thorns two. So that's all the enchantments for this pair of boots there. And I'm assuming I put this diamond here to repair like this or something like that. So that's what I'm going to use it for. I'm going to go ahead and repair this a little bit. And let's go ahead and continue killing these guys. And then I'll look. I'll take a look at how, uh, how much XP I'm going to need to put thorns on these. So let's see. This would take 8 to put the first one on. If I look at the next one... That's 11 because it has Unbreaking 3. I'm thinking I'm not going to combine the two Thorns books, and I'm just going to go ahead and put them on separately. Alright, Thorns. Thorns again. Now, which is the most expensive? That one, this one, this one. Alright, that, 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 in perfect order. Alright, so let's go ahead and get Protection 3, Mending and Feather Falling on these boots. Just like that, that list is starting to get pretty long. Now we can get Depth Strider, and then we can put the last Protection 3 on. However, I, of course, I'm going to need plenty of more XP. Whoa. What a beautiful sound. So, we can get this correct. There's that Depth Strider. That list is very long. Now all we need to do is turn this into Protection 4. And rename the boots, of course. If I don't rename the boots, I'll be pretty salty, but, um... Hopefully I won't forget to do that, uh, like I did with something, like, earlier in the season. I don't remember what it was. It was a long time ago, but, uh, whoa! All right, I think that's it, ladies and gentlemen. If we put this in, just like that, 19 XP, I mean 19 levels, let's turn it into this. So, let's see, um, <sighs> the boots of dis discord. The Boots of Discord, I think that's a nice name. So Thorns 3, Unbreaking 3, Protection 4, Mending, Feather Falling 4, and Depth Strider 3. An extremely long list of enchantments for my new brilliant pair of boots. So I'll take off these Unbreaking 3, Protection 4, Depth Strider 3, Feather Falling 4 boots. 
Retiring those to add mending and thorns, I believe, is what I'm adding. Correct, mending and thorns. Yep, that's four. That is six. So let's put these new boots of discord on our feet. I feel nicer already. And let's go ahead and add another pair of boots to my stupid... Ah, uh, screw this, man. To my... Uh, yeah. Alright, so here is the uh, Sharpness 3 Fire Aspect 2. That's the most expensive one to start. Next is Sharpness 3 Unbreaking 3. That is the next most expensive one. So there we have that. Alright, next is the Looting 3 Fire Protection 3 book, which of course will only give us looting on the sword, but we will take that. Alright, second to last is the Sweeping Edge 3 book. That'll give us an enchantment cost of 13. You have a very great sword. Honestly, this is almost ending up costing a more than the actual boots of the Titans, which is kind of surprising since those has thorns. Um, but since there are so many sword enchantments now, you know, I could also be putting Knockback 2 on this sword. How many enchantments would that give it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, that would give it 6, so it would be on par with these boots with 6 enchantments. That's a lot of stuff. There we go. The last one is actually going to cost 21, which is actually more than the boots of Discord cost me. So that's pretty impressive. Um, I'm just going to get that. Oh, 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 oh you got to be joking. I forgot that I've got Mending Sharpness 3. I could, I could totally have more enchantments than the boots of Discord on this thing. Oh, now I'm salty because I forgot about mending, and this mending book has sharpness 3 on it. Are you kidding me? Oh, that is... <laughs> Alright, so about the mob farm, um, I'm going to have to have a slight change of plans here. So, my thought was to build a mob farm above a, um, what's it called? A witch hut, or whatever. Um, yeah, a witch hut, so that we can have the benefit of having a mob farm mob drops and witch drops and so the thought was to make the mob farm a creeper and spider only and then the witch farm would supply us with redstone and glowstone and stuff and since we already have the skeleton grinder over there that is our supply of bones and we have plenty of those and we can easily just afk if we ever need more and in the end i'll probably end up adding a better s storage system for that However, in order to actually figure out where my mob farm needs to go, I first need to, well, uh, I first need to build the witch farm. So what that means is that I can't go ahead and immediately build the mob farm, actually, but I'm gonna have to build the witch farm first. So, these resources that I- <laughs> These resources that I started collecting, well, they're actually not all all that useful. <clears throat> Excuse me again. And since I'm gonna be modifying the farm design that I'm gonna be following sort of the tutorial of, I'm actually probably not even gonna follow the tutorial, I'm just gonna use my knowledge of Minecraft. Um, and use the tutorial, or that design by Il Mango as a reference. Um, I'm not actually going to work on that today in this episode. Today, what I'm going to be doing is building a witch farm, or a witch hut. So first what I need to go is I need to go in the midst and actually find one, and then we're going to start doing some calculations and a few other things. Ha, huh, I love that. And then we can go ahead and begin, collect our resources, build the thing, and build a storage system. Actually, no, the storage system, I'll build, I'll build like, like a pseudo kind of storage system, if you get what I mean.
So as you all just saw, I basically got the entire witch farm built. Um, I there was some. Eh, I don't remember what the last clip was because I know that I I made a clip and and it corrupted. Uh, so I kind of just went into the time lapse and came over here to a witch farm that is around 2,000 blocks away, and built it. Now I I want to mention something. I know it's really 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 ugly how I've got some stone slabs and some cobblestone slabs however I didn't properly plan when it came to stone um, I actually ran out of stone and now what I realistically what I should have done is actually started mining this out continue this after I got some stone from that mining with my silk touch pickaxe but I didn't think of that because apparently I'm not very smart or maybe just because I wasn't as clear thinking as I am now uh, but yep it's quite unfortunate um, I'm at, at some point uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this yet if this is really visible like if I decide to really build the mob farm on top of this which I'm I'm slightly rethinking my like mega plan that I told you all oh shut up phone um, I've been rethinking that to make it uh, more sensible, honestly. Uh, but I may, um, for just the sake of not looking idiotic, replace the cobblestone slabs in the roof of this thing to be stone. Um, that's, that's just something that'll come later. For now, unfortunately, we're gonna have to deal with the cobblestone look. Now, the last thing that I have to do is to finish mining this out I'm gonna mine it down whoa I'm gonna mine this down to I believe level 32 I'm decided to mine down to level 32 and then put down hoppers run those into uh, like a dropper clock that'll be like somewhere out here and then that'll just take the items up through an I item elevator up into a storage system that will put somewhere up above the build where the AFK spot will be for this build. I I'm actually not sure. I think I'm not going to make a proper storage system for it yet until I build the mob farm on top of it. And I still need to decide if I want that mob farm to be an all mobs mob farm or a creeper and spider only. I I'm starting to lean toward all mobs, um, but we will see. Another thing that I forgot to mention is that you also saw me in that time lapse. You saw me coming into the nether and finding my way out aka finding my way to our nether hub, finding my way home, and I basically just followed the coordinates, came through this area here, oh dear, wow. Although I actually don't mind, that hopefully will give me another gas tier. Please give me a gas tier. Yes! Oh no, you're kidding me, two gunpowder, that's crap. Alright, but anyways, I came over here, and then I believe, where even is it? I think, I try, try to remember where my tunnel is. Uh, it was towards positive Z, so maybe it's over here. Yep, here it is, my tunnel up, um, and then I just made like basically a very rough three by three tunnel out here, and then I, I ran into this cave, uh, found out that home is right over here, and it's actually really cool. I'm very happy with where I emerged. Like we came out up here in this overhang. Or like, yeah, this overhang, just like this hole here in the wall overlooking the flat area over where like the pigment thing is and where the cobblestone tower and nether portal are over there. Okay, so I'm here. We dug out our hole. I'm making a ladder up to the top and I found bone blocks. Now, I think this is one of the like things that I forgot what they're called, like the like the, the fossils. That's what they are. The fossils, I think I just found one because there's just bone blocks in the middle of the underground. And that is awesome. And I'm totally going to... Yeah, come up here, carrot. Let's see. This is the first time I've ever seen a fossil. Like, never seen one before. And this is cool. Yes, it is bone block, you're right. So ladies and gentlemen, there you have the first fossil that I've ever found in Minecraft after they added them in like, what, 1.9 or 1.10? I think it was 1.9. Alright, well there's dirt. I hope there's no water. Ah, there's water. 
All right, well, there's water, but the water lagged. Holy crap. Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Nope. Rah. Oh no, please don't have blown up. What did he blow up? Holy crap, what did he blow up? Oh god. Did he blow up any of my shulker boxes or chests? Oh, thank god, I think he did not. I think he just blew up my bed. Oh god. Ow! Stop being a ninja. Dear god. Whoa, did you see that snipe? Alright, I think, ladies and gentlemen, that that is all of the caving exercises done. If I have calculated correctly, uh, well, I mean, I, not totally calculated. Um, that is basically going to be a rough, more or less, the caving. I'm not going to go 100% accuracy. Uh, I'm sure I lit up some places outside the necessitated radius of lighting. And I'm fairly certain I missed a few places as well that are inside it, but even if we have a few small places that are not lit up, the farm should still work well. And if there are problems, I can always go back and light up more. Alright everybody, so I did some testing over with my camera account, and it's, our caves are fine, um, except for maybe like one spot here or there, but what we do are going to have to work on is actually properly lighting up a true perimeter around here. We're going to have to light up like this place over here, and a few other areas um, around the swamp, and a tiny bit of that roof forest as well we're going to have to light up so that mobs don't spawn during the night. Otherwise, this thing works fine, as you can see I've got a bunch of witch drops here. And that's pretty great, and I'm very happy with the farm. Um, the farm itself works very well. So basically, I just feel accomplished, and I'm going to go ahead and take a break for now, because I've been working on this for quite a long time. So I will see you all then. Alright, a good evening to all of you beautiful people. It seems that our video has now ended. For some reason, I did not ever actually end the video with my voice, and went on to record another one quite a while later. So, thank you very much for watching, everyone. I do hope you have enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like down below, and check out the description for links to all my social media, including the new Discord server that I haven't advertised on these videos before. Also, check me out on twitch.tv slash hobs underscore 21, because I am actually live streaming now, though I do also live stream onto YouTube at the exact same time. But without further ado, I'm going to end this video now. I won't keep you here, so thank you very much so much for watching, everyone, and I hope you have enjoyed once again. My name is Hobbs underscore 21, signing out for today, and I will see you all very soon for the next video. Ignore my accent, please. I don't know why I'm using it.